What's up, family status? I hope everyone having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to plant blueberries. So today, I'm transplanting three blueberry plants into 12-gallon containers. Check them out. Right now, they're in three-gallon containers. And this right here is a pink lemonade blueberry plant that we planted see April 13th 2022 and these two back here are sharp blue blueberry plants that we just bought maybe two or three weeks ago so we have to make tags for them and if you want these tags I'll leave the link in the description but right now it's a great time to buy blueberry plants because they're on sale because check this out we bought these blueberry plants for $25 What at the beginning of this year and we got blueberries this year. But check it out. You see how these are already taller than the ones we bought at the beginning of the year? That's crazy, right? And guess what? We got these on sale for $14. So we paid $50 for these two and we paid $30 for these two. But check it out. This is the 12 gallon container that we will be transplanting these two. See? You can actually grow and harvest blueberries in these three gallon containers. But the downside of growing your blueberries in these three gallon containers is that you will have to come out all the time and pick them up because the wind will blow them over especially when your plants start to grow blueberries it's not going to be able to hold them up in this three gallon container so that's why we chose this 12 gallon container because the wind won't blow these over and we'll still be able to harvest a ton of blueberries so the first thing i'm gonna do before we start transplanting our blueberries into these 12 gallon containers is add drainage holes you want to make sure you always add drainage holes to your containers because if you don't the water will build up in your container and drown the roots this is what i'm going to use to add drainage holes to our containers and i'll leave the link for this in the description below and it's that easy to add drainage holes to your container we're planting our blueberries in and red clay you don't have to use peat moss and red clay to grow blueberries that's just what I'm choosing to use today you can also use cocoa and red clay or you can use cocoa and compost or you can use compost only the main key to growing blueberries is to make sure whatever soil you're using is acidic. This is how we make our soil acidic, using soil acidifier. So now we're just gonna sprinkle a little of this in here to prep our soil for our blueberries. Because blueberries love acidic soil so if you try to plant blueberries in alkaline soil and your blueberries didn't flourish it's because you didn't prep your soil so now that we have our 12 gallon container filled up with about 25% of soil now we're going to take our 3 gallon container and this is our pink lemonade blueberry plant and we're going to place it in there like this check it out you want it to look just like that and the reason we do this is because we're going to fill soil around our three gallon container so we can have the perfect mold the perfect home for our three gallon pink lemonade blueberry plant so this is how it should look after you finish filling soil around your container check it out 
You see that? Just like that. Now watch this. You see that? Just like I said, the perfect mold, the perfect home for your plant. And this is one of the reasons why I like transplanting my plants like this. Is because you could just add whatever you want directly to your mold so your plant can have whatever it needs right after it gets transplanted. So now I'm gonna add some soil acidifier and some organic fertilizer to our mold. Check it out, if you're wondering what organic fertilizer I'm using, this is what I'm using. So now we have to loosen this up to make sure it come out of this container easy. So all you have to do is tap around the sides. It's not even root bound yet. It's only been in this container since April 13th. And if you're wondering when is the best time to transplant your blueberries? I would say the best time to transplant your blueberries is when they're asleep. And transplanting your blueberry plant is that easy. Check it out. Can't wait to see if we get pink lemonade blueberries next year. Check this out. You see all of those mini bark nuggets? They put those in there because those are acidic. So we're gonna also mulch our blueberries with mini bark nuggets. So check it out. Now that we have all of our blueberry plants transplanted into 12 gallon containers, all we have to do now is add pine bark mini nuggets on the top and water. And you don't have to add pine bark mini nuggets on the top. I'm just doing this to make sure our blueberry plants are happy and healthy. I like doing extra things for my plants because that's how much I love my plants. But you don't have to do this to have a successful blueberry harvest. Gonna add a little more soil acidifier. Just to make sure that soil is acidic because you don't wanna plant your blueberries in alkaline soil. Because if you do, you'll never get a blueberry harvest. And just to make sure our soil stays acidic, we're going to add pine bark mini nuggets. Now I'm going to water our plants with some acidic water. How do I make this water acidic? I just squeeze two or three drops of lemon juice in here. So all you have to do is take a lemon, literally squeeze a couple drops in the water and it will be acidic. It's that simple. 